What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to another live stream and once again we're doing American Truck Simulator and if you remember last time we drove from Albuquerque to Flagstaff in our last trip and that is where we're going to take off today so if you look at the job market uh, I'm going to take a quick job because that's all we can really do at the moment so we started in Roswell and my tutorial was to take a load from Roswell to Almogordo and then when I was streaming last time I went from Roswell to uh, through Socorro to Albuquerque just south of Albuquerque by there and then we took a another load which I believe was concrete piles from Albuquerque through Gallup to Flagstaff so we're going to continue from Flagstaff and we're San Simon. Ooh, that might be a fun one. If you remember, we upgraded so we have longer journeys now. And for some reason, I'm still hosting someone on my Twitch on my page. Let me just sort that out quickly. So if I refresh that, it should hopefully... Uh, yep, yeah, there it is, even though I've got an advert. God, that's annoying. <laughs> That's so annoying. And let's get back to the game. Right, so as I was saying, San Simon would be a fun one. We could discover like three towns on the way there. Camp, Ver Camp Verde, Phoenix, that's a big one, Phoenix, Arizona, T uh, Tucson, and then San Simon. But, I don't know, my original plan was to go west to California and Nevada. But that's $12,000, and we'll discover four towns, and we'll be able to go back to New Mexico, where the uh, new DLC is. So, is it worth taking that? Where's Socorro? That's where we came from, essentially. I don't really want to do that. Santa Fe? Ooh, Santa Fe could be a nice one. But again, it's along the same route that we was doing before. Where's El Centro? That's California. Sierra Sierra Vista is actually a really good option, but it's not as paid, not as well paid. I'm thinking San Simon, so I'm going to take this job. And I just need to get my controller. Yeah, I'm thinking Socorro would be... Socorro? Um, San Simon would be the best. I do have a um, little update on my life. In the last stream, I told you guys that I'd ordered a new processor, a motherboard, and hard drive. They've arrived. They'll be installed next uh, next week. So that's something I'm really excited about. I've got an Intel Core i7 now. Uh, where am I going? I want to go left, I believe. But yeah, those new components should make my computer a whole heck of a lot better. Just gotta go around here slowly. Are we gonna make that? Ooh, no. I don't think so. Let's just reverse up a little bit. And before I set going, get going, I wanna put. Uh, really? There's no speedometer option? That's a bit annoying. Uh, I'm gonna have fuel up because I always forget about fuel. My wheel was turned the wrong way there. Uh, another little update for you guys. I have a lot of uh, new chat, what would you call it, commands I suppose, chat commands. So you can now play games, you can high five, you can find a few easter eggs in my chat. If you type in uh, exclamation mark commands into the chat, you can find out then. Right, which way we're going right out of here. So I'm going to take the widest swing I can muster. But yeah, it's just a shame that I can't install my processor now, because as much as I'd love to, this is literally my last free day of work. Like, I'm back in work tomorrow, early morning, so I don't really have time to do it, because they only arrived like an hour ago. So that's a bit annoying, but either way, it's going to happen eventually. I did kind of accidentally blow £500 in one day, though, on Black Friday. I'm not very good with money when it comes to things like that. Take for example last week, I went to uh, Bristol, which is not that far from my house, 
and I literally only went there to have a walk round. We was going to see the Clifton Suspension Bridge, me and my friend Joe. And we walked past a shop on the way there, and in the window they had a deal, £300 for a 43 inch TV. So I may or may not have bought two. <laughs> so yeah, now I've got two 43 inch monitors, but I, I, I do not regret it. I think I should probably point that out now. I freaking love my monitors. Go on, speed up a little bit, truck. I forgot what we're carrying. What was we carrying? Probably machine parts 22,000 pounds of machine parts. So, what's that? 10 tons? That's not that much. And I drifted then. So, we're now on completely new roads. I've never driven down here before. So, I, I like that. I don't like repeating things over and over again. So, having different roads and different junctions and stuff to deal with, I tell you what, I am going to do. I'm going to go on the map and I'm going to zoom out. We've got a little spaghetti junction coming up. And I'm just going to discover all of the things along the way. Why have I got no desktop audio? Uh, I'm going to have to check that in a minute. I'm not sure if it's because I'm on the pause menu. Uh, Camp Verde, we might discover that. Um... Ooh, will we just, we'll definitely discover Phoenix because we go right through it but and we'll discover t uh, Tucson but I'm not sure if we will discover Camp Verde is it worth taking a detour I think it might be okay we're gonna add a waypoint there <clears throat> excuse me yeah we're gonna discover We've only discovered 3.5% of the map so far, but yeah, we're going to discover, um, I forgot what that table was called already, god, I'm bloody useless, oh well, right, we need to put our wipers on, which presents a problem, because I can't remember what button I mapped them to, and yeah, we do have de desktop audio, so that's alright, headlights, we must have the headlights, we are driving at night, I probably should have put them on earlier, at least I'm remembering to use the indicators, or the blinkers as they call them in America. Throw down the blinkers. That is the worst impression of an American ever. It's very cool. I've never actually been on a really complicated, like, what are they called? Spaghetti junctions. I've never seen one in real life. There's none anywhere near my house. I think the nearest one to me would be Birmingham, and that's like a hundred miles away. And let's be honest, no one wants to go to Birmingham. Just no. There's a boy who Saddam from Birmingham, and he spent three and a half hours before trying to convince me that the Birmingham accent was sexy. Uh, for your information, it's not. Not at all. It's the most dull, flat accent. No offence if you're from Birmingham, but it's not a good accent. I would not want to live in Birmingham. What's the speed at? 75. I have no idea. I've... Oh, there's the speed limit. The speedometer. Haha, I've spotted it. That's cool, we're on like a country road and we are speeding a little bit. So I'm going to slow down to just under 75. Got to be careful and uh, make sure I don't crash into anyone. And I'm going to put cruise control on at 74. Why are the speed limit signs orange? Oh, random event. Perfect, that's why those signs are orange. This is one of those random events. That is so cool. Like this. Hats off to SCS, they did really well with these random events. They do, they make the game feel alive. Like, it makes it feel like you're actually a truck driver. It, it makes it feel like alive. Like, that's the best way to describe it. Like, you do get roadworks in real life. I have no idea why I put my indicator on. But you do get roadworks in real life and all that stuff. So, it is quite cool to see it in the game. I think that's pretty awesome. It also does um, quite well with the weather, the dynamic weather in this game, I think. Like, the ratio of like rain to sun is quite good. It's realistic. We were speeding a lot then. Oh, I didn't think we were going to make that corner. Cool how the 
this road is separated like the each direction so it's two lanes going one way two lanes going the other but there's no central divide that the lanes are actually separated I've no idea why that is perhaps they used to be separate lanes separate roads or perhaps they have something to do with geography either way it's still pretty cool I'd imagine it's like this in real life because SCS is usually quite good with making maps like print features in which are there in real life like the, the Eiffel Tower in Paris uh, Roswell has lots of alien stuff so it is pretty cool just keeping an eye on my fuel consumption I can go 540 miles when that goes below 150 that's when I'm going to start getting so ooh we've got a Domino's trailer there we are speeding again whoa oh wow that did not turn how I expected it to then. I was going quite fast though, so I can forgive it. I'm thinking cruise control. I do like my cruise control. That is the best feature of any car after the radio. Every car has to, has, has to have a radio and cruise control. It's the most important feature. Forget the engine. No, the cruise control. What's that there? Is that a Dodge Ram? That truck? I think it is. That's the thing, we don't really have pickups in Britain. Like, we do, but there's no, like, pickup culture. No one really drives them because they love pickups. They just, they like, I don't know why, they. but there's no culture for it. People don't need pickups in this country. So you don't really get these massive Ford F-350s and these 18 feet long cars because they just don't really fit on the roads they're not practical what you've got to remember is American towns are like 200 years old 250 at max in Britain most of the towns are thousands hundreds if not thousands of years old I think we've got more roadworks coming up so just big trucks, the roads are narrow they built for, for horse cars there's just no room for big trucks in this country right we've got another random event coming up I'm going to just slow right down and appreciate this. God, hats off to SES. They did a fantastic job. All these roadworks. Like, people are actually doing something. That's not realistic. Every roadworks you drive past is just someone sat there eating a bacon sandwich. But nonetheless, they, it was a good attempt. Right, we can speed back up and, and uh, speed back up again now in our lovely Kenworth. Where the heck is that sat nav taking us? Surely that's not right. Uh, ooh, okay. It was being weird then. Ah, uh, we missed our waypoint, that's what it is. Haha. -ha. And no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, how do I remove it? Is it that? Yep. Ooh, uh, still not quite used to this map. And you can go. Right, now it should be better. Our route looks fine. So we, we uh, missed out on getting Camp Verde. But we're going to get Phoenix and uh, whatever the other one was, Tucson. So it's not a biggie. Not a big deal. Hmm, that's weird. If you press uh, back, like B on the controller, it doesn't take you out of that menu. Unless it's mapped to a different button. I really like this game, I gotta be fair. I wish I bought it like how old is it a year old about a year old? I wish I'd bought it when it came out. It is quite a cool game. It's surprisingly addictive is how I would describe it. I'm pretty sure we can turn our wipers off now. Yeah. It's not really raining, is it? I am gonna try and keep an eye on my speed this time. We're coming up to Phoenix, uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Very, very big airport in Phoenix, Phoenix Sky Harbor. And as we saw on the map, we've got two really big spaghetti junctions coming up. You can you can just tell that a town's major if it has loads of roads and highways and stuff. That obviously is a major interchange for roads in America. Like in the states, go through it. Speeding at 65. 
think I judged that braking perfectly then, I've got to be fair. That speed, I'm not sure that's right though. I know, it just it seems a little bit off. Like, we're going 54. Oh, no, it is right, I suppose. It just didn't seem like it was. Wow, look at this junction coming up. Wow. I am impressed. Fair play, SCS, you've outdone yourself, mate. I'm very impressed. I'm not getting off there. I thought we was getting off at that junction. Uh, let me check the map. Ah, we was. Why did it reroute us that way? I wanted to go through those junctions. Do you know what? F f screw it, we're turning round. I want to go round those junctions. I know it's petty and I know it's childish, but I am a petty, childish person, I suppose. Right, where can we turn around? No, oh, just down here, I suppose. Need to be in this lane. And we are getting off here. I'm going to carry my speed up the ramp. Up the off ramp. Okay, that was a little bit fast. Probably should have checked before I pulled out then, but meh. We didn't hit anything, so it's fine. And we're going left again here because I'm childish and I want to go through the spaghetti junctions. Oh, that's cool. The car actually has an Arizona plate because we're in Arizona. I've never noticed that before. I thought it would just be like a generic plate like Grand Theft Auto, but that's actually a pretty cool detail. I wonder if you get like cars in the wrong states, so, like you'd have a New Mexico plate driving through California, because that would, I, I would imagine, would happen in real life. That'd be a pretty cool detail if that happened. I need to overtake this car on up. Now that is why you put tailgate and that guy's probably crap in his pants right now. Spaghetti Junction. Phoenix discovered. See? I'm glad I did that. Now we've discovered Phoenix. It would have happened if we but I just wanted to drive through Spaghetti Junction. I lost control a little bit then. Nothing too major. Bear in mind, I am using an Xbox 360 controller, not a. Um, what is my indicator not showing off? Uh, not a wheel or a gear stick or anything like that. Like I'm base. I'm using basic automatic. So now it's in neutral. Now it's in. Uh, I thought it was going to go reverse. Then that'd be fun. But yeah. Oh, the wrong lane. Wrong lane hype. And a big dip under the other highway. I don't feel like my headlights shine far enough. Like, it would be nice to see a little bit further ahead, I think. That would be quite nice. I got the... That's so annoying. I got an itchy ear, and obviously my microphone, like my headphones are covering my ear, so... Kind of hard to scratch them without moving my uh, headphones. Right, what's the speed limit? 65, so we are speeding.com. Yet another pickup truck there. Another bitch horn, really? Come on, game. You've got to have some good horns. Truck horns are meant to be deep and ferocious and get out of my way. But in this, just like, excuse me, excuse me, 40 tons coming through. It's just like, no, not good. How far have we got left? Uh, I'm on the wrong page. F. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to press that, you son of a gun. And I'm back. Lost my camera. Angle. Right, F4. Oh, f I pressed it again. What the fuck? F5. Try that one, the right frickin' button for once. Uh, 211 miles, and we've got 400 miles of gas left. See? I used the American term then, gas. I am, I am getting better, I'm improving. I don't want to overtake this bus. Nice, light, nice smooth lane changes. We don't want our whatever we're carrying to fall over. Down, back across. Yeah, that's clear. What are we carrying? I've, do you know, my memory every year gets worse. Machine parts, that's the bugger. I hope we get 
sunrise before we arrive. It'd be nice to finish with a sunrise. And I do need to get my thumbnail. My indicator's been on for the past 200 freaking miles. But it would be very, very nice to have, um, to have the sunset before we arrive at our destination. Uh, I think, think we are near Tucson. Probably pronouncing that wrong, isn't it? Like Tucson or something like that. I'm just gonna say Tucson because that's how it's spelled. Right, I'm gonna be a responsible trucker. I'm actually gonna obey the speed limit for a start, and a responsible trucker gets in the right lane. I'm gonna try and start taking this more serious. Do you know what? We can move all the way across actually. We're decelerating because we're going uphill, not a problem. What goes up must come down. That is the rule of thumb. Publix. I doubt that's a real logo. That I don't know, that doesn't look real. That's probably something SCS created. Screw it. Moving back over. It's a three-lane highway. We're allowed to overtake. Come on, up you go over the ridge. I keep watching my uh, stream timer for the simple reason I've set up timers in my uh, nightbot that messages should appear um, every half hour, 35 minutes. And we're on 22 minutes and I'm just waiting for one to pop up. I want to make sure it actually works. I think it'd be awesome if it does. I really want someone to try out my new commands, but no one really wants to, and it's annoying. I just want to make sure they all work. But I even put some Easter eggs in it. It took me a very long time to set that up. It's different Easter eggs and things like that. It's pretty cool. Have we gone past Tucson? Or Tucson? I think that's how it's meant to be pronounced. Tucson or something like that. Where are we? Oh, we're coming up on it. Perfect. Uh, did I just throw a waypoint in? No, I thought I did for a minute then. Cruise control at 73, just where I want it. Nothing in our mirror. All good, all good. Indicate it off. I don't really need to indicate, to be fair. I don't know, I'm just doing it out of habit more than anything. I'm trying to get into good habits because I'm doing my driving lessons, so I'm sure you guys can understand. It is so expensive and so time consuming doing the driving lessons. Like, I need to pass as soon as possible because at the moment I'm relying on taxis to get to and from work, so it's costing me like £17 a day just in taxis. And yeah, I know a car would be more expensive, but then at least I have the freedom of a car. So, didn't think it would take that long, so I rang the driving instructor. I said, um, "How long do you reckon it'll be before uh, I can I can pass? I can apply for my test?" He goes, "I'm not meant to tell you that, but based on what I've seen, you can be on the road by February or March." It's like seriously, I need to learn to drive now. <laughs> it's just like it's so frustrating. And then when you do get a car, the insurance is like up to five thousand pounds. Like, not many people have £5,000 spare. Like, I, I, I'll, I'll admit, £5,000 is quite a lot that's for, like, a sports car or something, but I did a quote before on my friend Citroen C1 to see how much it would be. It's only a small family hatchback. I think it was three-door. And it was £1,800 a year. And that's, like, a small two-door safe car, so it's pretty ridiculous. And it's like, you'll buy a car for £100, and they'd be like, right, your insurance is two and a half grand for that. So like, what do you want me to do? Write it off 25 times? I know, I'll write it off every other week. That should just about cover it. It is kind of ridiculous. They just assume that you're automatically a bad driver and you're automatically going to crash into an Aston Martin. So yeah, it is annoying. Another thing, girls' insurance is so much less than boys. And I know that people will say, oh, look at the statistics, boys are worse. And yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd also say that that's sexist. Because if you think about it, the meaning of the word sexist, it means to discriminate someone because of their gender. 
and saying your insurance is automatically going to be more because you're a male, that qualifies, I reckon. I don't want to start a whole debate or a war, but that is sexism. You have to say, you have to admit that. Here comes the sunrise I've been longing for all night. I do love sunrise. Look at the uh, sun rays coming through the window. I love this game. Hopefully, my new processor will be able to run Ghost Recon Wildlands and stream it. And if it does, we're going to have some fun, because I love that game. The graphics on that are beautiful. Like, it's weird. If I'm just playing, like, I don't know if, my, if it's my processor or my hard drive, so fortunately I bought both, and I'm going to install them, uh, the game on that new hard drive, so it should be good. But it's not. Like, when I play in the game, just like, oh, I fancy playing Ghost Recon for a half hour, I'll jump on, it'll be fine. Full graphics, we're fine. Like not full, but good graphics, like high graphics, it'll be fine. So I'll go, ah, oh, I'll stream this for a bit, and it'll just be like, nope. It'll just crap itself. It is annoying. I think, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming up on our destination. I think. I reckon we should definitely take another job after this. Hopefully we can skill up and get... Uh, I want to get heavy cargo or high value or something like that. My accent, I'm really Welsh then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Just, we'll be talking, it's like I was in the valleys and I'll just randomly switch. It's, it's, it's great, but it's annoying. Anyway, <laughs> enough about accents. I'm pretty sure we're getting close to our destination now. Well, yeah, because we had 400 miles of, of uh, gas and 270 miles left and now we're down to 230 miles of gas we've gone about 170 miles since then so look at that view oh i love views like i love going places with a nice view i tell you the nicest view i've ever seen that i can recall is a couple of months ago um, me and my friends at three in the morning randomly decided to go on a road trip from South Wales, where we live, to North Wales, about 150 miles, and we went there to explore abandoned asylum, I'll tell you about that in a minute, but on the way up, we stopped in the um, Snowdonia mountain range, and there was this cafe, I can't remember what it was called, but it was absolutely dead, and apparently, in the summer, bikers go there in their hundreds, I thought that road works there. Bikers will go there in their hundreds and they'll ride down these country roads. And we sat in the cafe at six in the morning having a coffee. The sun was coming up over the mountain. And it was right at the edge of a valley. Oh, need to turn off here. I need to start checking my mirrors more. So the view would just be straight down this valley and oh, it was so nice. You saw the fog rolling over the mountain on one side and the sun was coming up on the other. It was so amazing. Like it's the nicest view I've ever seen. That was a really fun trip, that was. The reason we went up there was to visit Den Big Asylum, which is an abandoned mental asylum in North Wales where they used to do lobotomies in like the 1800s, like early 1900s. And it's been abandoned since like the 90s or something. And ah, oh, it's incredible to walk around, seeing all these things like these wheelchairs from um, the, the 80s and stuff like just small details but it's so incredible but the best part of the trip was um, on the way up there we stopped at a place called the Red Dress House and you can actually google the Red, Dread ha Red Dress House in Shrewsbury it's just on the English border and uh, where do you need it? we're going to do that and the thing that makes it so amazing is the woman who owned it her husband died in the 60s and um, she became like a recluse so she never really went out and like this photos and this stuff in there from the 60s there's a TV set from the 50s in there but like, it's a massive house don't get me wrong it's more of a mansion than a house and everything in there it's like stepping back in time it's amazing uh, which way do we need to turn? I have to think about it right yeah, it was like stepping back into the, the 60s. 
But the most amazing thing was why it got its name, the Red Dress House. When you go upstairs, there's a bedroom, the master bedroom, a double bed, and the roof's collapsed in. But there's a wardrobe, and on the door of the wardrobe is a red dress, a bright red, been preserved perfectly, there's no dust on it or anything, it's rather amazing. And it's like pristine, it's like she just went and bought it even though it's 50 years old. But the creepiest thing about it is right next to that dress, on the uh, dresser itself, is a picture of her, the woman who owned the house wearing the red dress and it's so creepy seeing the picture and then seeing the dress it's really really creepy but it's also amazing at the same time honestly I'd love to go back there but sadly the uh, roof and everything is caved in so I can't really well I could but it just wouldn't be the same it's like you never meet your idol you don't do it again because it's never quite how you remember I thought that was exciting Forgetting how slowly the wheel turns on. I am terrible at reversing. Start edging off like this. And, yeah. yeah, honestly, the red dress house in Shrewsbury is one of the most amazing places I've ever been to. I'd happily go back there. Look at all that money. We got nearly 11,000 for that. We've leveled up to level 3. Almost level 4. Still a newbie, but, you know. Right, what are we going to go for? How do we do the heavy cargo? Where's that? Oh, that's hazmat. No. Explosives. Slamble gas. It's not one of them. It's not just in time. How do we do the, the heavy cargo? Or is that just naturally in the job menu? Um... High value cargo, I'm thinking. Let's go for that. Right, and then let's go to the job market, take another quick job. Actually, how much money do we have right now? 28,163. We could. I'm thinking we should buy a truck. Let's go to the bank, see how much we can loan. We can borrow 500,000. Um, hmm, how much would a truck be? I'm guessing probably about a hundred thousand. That's the only dealership we've unlocked is there. Can we buy online? This feature is for trusted customers only. You need to own at least three trucks before you can buy online. Okay, I think we can just visit them. Do you really want to travel to Albuquerque and visit the Peterbilt truck dealer? Yes, I do. Ooh, that's a nice truck. How much is that? Where did they say the price? Oh, there. 141,000. I'm not sure that's a good idea. What I would be better off doing... Ah, uh, this is a tough choice, because if I screw up, this is going to go bad. We might go bankrupt. But I'm going to take the 400,000 with 12% interest. Yes. So we now got 430,000. I'm going to go to a truck dealer. I'm going to go to that truck dealer once again. Yes, I want to travel there. It's going to be so nice having our own truck. Right. Customize configuration. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to spend that much money. That's if we can do anything. Uh, 6x4. Is that worth it? Hmm, I don't think it is. I'm just going to keep it like that. Engine uh, gives us better hills and better heavy cargo. Yeah, yeah. I th I think that it's only one thousand seven hundred more. So we're gonna go for that. Ten speed. Um, Ooh, that's definitely worth it. Yeah, we're having that. Interior, don't really need anything. Paint job, really I should have uploaded a custom skin. 
That would have been cool. Um, I'm thinking just a basic. What does black look like? I bet I can black would be pretty. Yes. Or blue. Or black. Or green. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I want every color. This is why I shouldn't own a company. Uh, I'm going to put the oversized load placard on there. I think that could come in useful. It's only 50 bucks. Front banner, I've done that. What's that? Bumper. Uh, flags? Yeah, gotta have the flags. Gotta have the flags. We're gonna be doing heavy cargo. Or at least I hope we are. Bug deflector, haven't unlocked it. Left hood mirror. Uh, I don't know. Do I like that? I don't think I like that much. Rims. I'm just going to leave the rims entire standard. Door handle. It's pointless upgrading the door handle. Main mirror. Yep. Got to have that. All these customizations and it's only added 3,000 to the thing. That's pretty cool. Got to have the horn. Uh, ooh. How do I move the camera around? There. There. Boom, perfect. So, we want to have the big row, the little row, the big row, and the little row, and then there, oop, didn't mean to do that, a uh, little row, and then what's that, sun visor, no, cabin lights, yeah, we've already got that. That's the beacon, I haven't got that yet. What's that? Ooh, number plate. Nothing we can really do though. But we can change it. I'm going to be GTG. Uh, it's got to have numbers and letters, so GTG25. Yeah, I like the number 25. Boom. Perfect. And. Is there anything else we can do? Exhaust, there's nothing really there though. Ooh, mud flaps, gotta have mud flaps. Ah, doubt. Right, C confirm. So I could purchase two of them and hire a driver. That's me plan. Um, purchase. Yeah, thank you for being your first buying your first truck from us. Please come again. Please don't note that not all trucks bought here have regular insurance paid already. Please note that all trucks bought here. Sorry, I misread that. Ah, oh, I was going to buy that again. How can I buy two of them? Uh, I'm not actually sure. So here it is, our first truck in our garage. Garage, sorry. Heavy haul. I like. How do I skip this cutscene though? I'm not sure I can. Okay, I guess we'll enjoy the cuts. That's annoying every time I press unmute on my microphone. It uh, wants the horn. Look at that, baby. Oh, that's so nice. There's the running lights. Headlights won't come on yet. With the flags, the oversized load. It didn't let me customize the plate for some reason. Oh, you, it's in the windscreen. I thought it was the official plate. Hello. Right, how do I hire a driver for this thing? That's what I need to learn next. So, cabin adjustment, diagnostic, profile, skills, progress, history, agency. Do we have any? Right, there's one right there. There's one literally right there. So, we need to go map. Where are you? It's probably that. Gotta be. Right, okay. Let's go there. And 
let's drive our lovely new truck. Our lovely new Peterbilt. And I'm going to go inside you, which is one. And uh, I don't want to reverse out into traffic, really. Can we spin around? Nope. <coughs> Excuse me. That is a nice truck. That was a cool truck then. That was awesome. That was really, really nice. Okay, that us. That's also a nice one. That deep blue. Jazzy Cat's mod where the trucks match the trailers. Fair play, he's done fantastic on that. Another blue one behind. Come on, traffic. I'm genuinely going to drive up the pavement in a minute. Still in reverse. Duh. What are we waiting for? There's a freaking green light right there. Right. I'm going to bully my way. Yeah, I'm not waiting for all these trucks. So. No. No. And we crashed. <laughs> oh, screw this. I can't be asked to wait. I know this is illegal, but I really can't be asked to wait. See that? And there's a cop right there. <laughs> shows the shows how illegal that was. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm waiting. I might as well get a nice screenshot of my truck. I'm thinking something like that, maybe. I don't know. We can get multiple ones, obviously. Just waiting for the traffic light. There it goes. Can I undertake Big Blue by here? On the sidewalk. Ooh, this is going to be tight. Ah, yeah. Beep. Don't want to swear. This family friendly. Mustn't swear. Oh, well. Only a little bit of... Did we damage? Did we damage? Did we get damage? God, I can't English today. Uh, nope. Absolutely fine. Ooh, we got a sat nav. That's cool. Uh, I genuinely thought I was going to smack into the back of him then. Jesus. That would have been bad. For the record, if random stuff happens, like the map opens or the horn goes off, it's because I'm muting and unmuting my microphone. It drives me crazy as well, don't worry. But I'm sure you guys don't want to sit there and listen to the saying of me taking a drink. I'm sure that can't be very fun for you guys. I am working on being able to stream at 720p. Uh, we were speeding then, I believe. Ooh, do we have... Yes, we got a speedometer thing. Perfect. But yeah, I am working on streaming in 1080 at 60 frames a second. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible yet. My internet's not the greatest. And we do get lag and dropped frames and all nonsense like that, but I am working on it. As as I'm sure you know, I'm new to streaming, so yeah, kind of. There's still a lot to discover, let's just put it like that. Still a lot of stuff to get sorted and all that nonsense, blah, 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 blah. Right, we need to turn right here. I don't care if the light turns red, because they have right on red in America. Thank the Lord. I do like my new purchase, I've got to be fair. We we'll put the indicator on a bit early then. Oh, we don't need to indicate. In fact, we don't even need to take the corner on the right side of the road. That'd be so funny if I flipped my truck over then. No! Ooh, I thought I was going to kill him then. You can discover, You have discovered a recruitment agency. You can hire drivers who will work for you here. Yeah, I do know how they work. Forwards, maybe? Cracking. Right. You don't have any slots available for a new driver. Please upgrade one of your garages or buy a new one. Say what? Okay, I guess we're going to the garage manager. Uh, this garage here. How do I upgrade? Hmm. 
That's a good question. A fully equipped carriage of this size is expected to earn this much money a week. 20,000. Yeah, we've beat that. How do I unlock a slot? Uh, how do I upgrade the garage would be a better thing. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure how to upgrade my garage. Set when your garage sees details, select an available garage slot, click. Yeah, that doesn't really help if the slot's locked, does it? Turn that off now. Do I have to buy a new garage? Really? Where is a new garage? Or oh, right, take me to my garage. Magic, magic map thing. Actually, I'm going to read my email first. There might be something important in there. Uh, drivers who own equipment needed. We can help you grow. Blah, blah, blah. Right, where is my garage? Uh, no, it's up here, isn't it? It's just where I just came from. There's my garage. Right, I'm going to have to try and figure out how to upgrade this. I genuinely don't know. If anyone has any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And this is how you drive like an a-hole. Just slam it in reverse. Ooh, that was close. You see that guy in the mirror then? Ha! <laughs> I'm in neutral. Come on. Jesus. Might as well go this way and discover this road. That is a nice car in front. What is that? A, uh... Is that... Camaro? I'm not sure what that is. It's very nice, though. We're gonna stalk him. Look at the flag down there flapping in the wind. That's awesome. Go. Jeez. Bye bye, Camaro. I think that's Camaro. That is a Mercedes in front. Now we just gotta sit at the lights because this is just like real life. Come on, lights. There you go. BMW M5 coming your boy. Porsche Cayenne, brother. These car models are very good, I have to be fair. Oh, piss off. What is the speed limit? 35. I was 5 over. Come on, give me a break. Do we need fuel? Uh, no. Come on, floor it. Come on, we're going to make these lights. If we don't, I'm going through it. I'm not very patient when I'm trying to figure stuff out. I really want to, I really need to get a second driver. The garage is up here on the left, so let's pull in behind Mr. Fire Truck here. Uh, don't go into the back of him. Dial 911. Yeah, you don't say. It's pretty obvious. Uh, red light. Municipal fire department truck there. Quite low texture on the side, but I'm not going to know about that. Engine 4. Who's that behind us? What are they driving? 4 Focus ST. Nice. That person has taste. I think I just went through a red light. There's a cop right there. <laughs> Lol. He didn't do anything. Let me turn my light. Ah, uh, really? I chose like the worst garbage. I'm going to force myself in. Or drive down the pavement. Either works. Into my garage. I assume that's what we have to do. Uh, joy A. Right, how do I upgrade you? Driver manager? No, it wouldn't be that. I genuinely don't know how to upgrade. There was another option when I pulled it in. Where's that gone? Or something like press joy right stick or something. That was clever. I 
press the wrong button. I thought I put it in forward when I put it in reverse. Ah, no, I'm gonna stop the engine, I don't really want that. How do I upgrade this garage? Oh my god, I'm, I'm blind as you get. Do you wish to upgrade your garage for £180,000? Upgrading your garage will give you two extra slots. Yes, I do. Oh, that was unexpected. Uh, what's this now? Press the following key to manage this garage. Joystick A. Yeah, I am. Ugh, really? Come on. I don't care about the cutscene. Nice graphics, but I still don't care about the cutscene. So is this my garage now, or did it? Yes, it is. Oh, that is nice. That is very nice. Look at that. Wowzers. Right, how do I manage a driver or whatever it said? Right now, I need some drivers. First of all, though, I need some trucks. Yep. Visit selected dealer. Do you really want to travel to Albuquerque? Realistically, I should drive there. But nah. I'm going to cheat a little bit. And I'm going to... That's the same truck, in it? Purchase that. No, I don't want to drive it. Can I get another one? Yeah. Uh, put it in there. Yep, okay. Please select an available slot. Oh, okay. You, go there. Okay. Thank you for your new purchase. You'll deliver your newly trucked to garage in Roswell immediately. Please note that all truck. Yeah, I know that. And can I buy it again? Uh,. It won't... Oh! Cack. I thought we had enough money to buy another one. Oh, I really want to buy another one. Recruitment. Let's, let's set this driver up first, and then let's, let's do it. So, yes, I want to go there. Hire a driver. Driver rating, 0 0.8. That's not really good. And he needs to get better long distance. We offer a great selection of highly professional drivers for hire, which is updated every day. For our services, we can only charge a modest fee of $1,500 for each driver you hire. I guess I'll take Jerry P then. Hire him. Select that garage. And he's going in that truck. Okay. Your driver will arrive shortly, and after they get settled, they will start working automatically, providing they have a truck to drive. They do have a truck to drive. And now the good one comes along. Okay, I'm going to hire her. She's going to go into that garage there. Okay. And now, I hope I can borrow some more money to get a truck. Please let me borrow it. Yep. Oh, no. It won't let me take out another loan. Oh, shite, sir. Uh, okay, we're going to have to earn some money fast then to pay for our new truck. Probably should have reversed out, but, you know. In fact, I think I have to reverse out. Can I go that? Yeah, I can go that way. Good turning radius. I like this truck. It's actually a really nice truck, but then it is brand new, so it probably would be a nice truck. Oop, there's a gap in traffic. I'm going to go for it. No, 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 no. no don't kill me. Ah! Ah, oh, you freaking asshole. Sorry. He should have slapped. That was entirely his fault. <laughs> right, we need... Uh, external contract? Oh, I need to connect to World of Trucks for that. Okay, freight market. Let's... Ah, oh, excavator. Military. Ooh, do I want to take military? 25,000, and that is a nice long journey as well. 
And I did want to go California. That is tempting. Bakersfield. LA. Santa Fe. That is... Oh, no. We need to start here. Oh, crap. Didn't think about that. Nogales. Eh. Holbrook. That might be a good one. Raton. Raton. Santa Fe. $11,000. And that's a double as well. Ooh. I think we got ourselves some fun here. Yes. Yeah, set as GPS destination. Definitely. Okay, where is it? Right in front of me. Perfect. So I need to get off here. Do some crazy shit. It's in the other direction, isn't it? <laughs> That's what it's making me do. It's making me turn around. Oh well. God, this is so quick when it's got no trailer attached, I tell you. I mean, wowzers. Uh, I do need to break for corners, though. Come in. based in Alien City. I do like that. I do like my new truck as well. Right, we're going 80 and a 45, so probably not the best. What I'm going to do, I'm going to slow right down to a few miles an hour, just keep the revs steady, and hopefully the light will turn green before we get there. I'm loving these old car models and stuff in the game. They're really nice, like this one in front. What's that, a Buick, I think? I'm not sure. I'm not very good with American cars. I don't know. I don't know my muscle cars that well. I know it's not a Mustang. <laughs> but yeah, and my knowledge of American cars is not particularly great. But that is a nice car regardless. 35 miles an hour through here. Ah, go. Away. I was going to swear, but no. Seriously, 9 over. It's not that bad. Ugh, more waiting at lights. Come on, lights. That's a Mustang over there, that convertible. Do, they don't call them convertibles in America, do they? I think they call them, what's it, drop tops or something along those lines. Right, I'm actually going to stick to the speed limit now because I don't want to get in trouble again. 25 is a little bit low though. <laughs> cruise control, <laughs> cruise control at 22. Dodge caliber in front, that's nice. Come on, lights. If that car wasn't there, I'd be able to go right on red. I wonder if I'd get in trouble if I mended the pavement. No, I mustn't. Mustn't. I must behave. I'm a professional driver now. I wonder if my driver started working yet. I'll have to check when I get my trailer or something. Ooh, ice cream van. I go back to work. Sounds like a plan. Right. Uh, where is our truck? No, it was an external freaking. Why do I keep clicking? And why did I do that? Really? Now, let me. Oh, yeah, well, let me open that. 
freight market. Yeah, that's the one I want. Take job. This double trailer should be great. It should be a laugh. Yeah, I'm going to take a nice wide swing out here. Make sure I don't actually crash into the trailer. And I'm going to... Whoa, brakes. I'm going to approach it and go. I'm not sure if I have advanced coupling turned on. I should probably check that. Don't think I did. There goes the crank handle. Right, and let's get going. Let's go on the road. Let's have a look at our trailer. Doubler. Nice, beautiful doubler. That's all I can park this one. Looks good. Yeah, so that's quite a cool picture. That's pretty cool. Right, how do I check my drivers? Um, that's the map. I don't really want the map. I'd quite like to check my drivers here. So it would be under. What would it be under? It wouldn't be under truck. Company status. No. Driver manager. There it is. So we got two drivers. One's resting. One's on duty. He hasn't earned any money yet. But he should soon. He better. I swear he's, he better earn some money. And so must I because I got like $7,000 a day to pay back in months. That's not good for him. Right. Yeah. Ooh, is this too heavy for us to pull? Like efficiently? Probably is. I probably should have checked the check left and right before pulling out then. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? It's only a family of four, I feel. <laughs> Don't do it. Do not do it. You f good. He was going to. I could tell he was going to. Yeah, it's definitely affected the performance having a double trailer. Sorry, I was speeding. I wanted to make those lights then. One indicator self cancel. Jeez. Right, 35, still. Coming up on a 45 limit. I knew it was going to do that because it always goes after the left turn lane changes red. I knew it was going to change. Oh well, nothing I can really do about it now. God, this has definitely slowed it down a lot. I wonder if we'll actually be able to hit highway speeds. That's going to be a tough one. I think I got the wrong type of truck for this type of load, really. I should have got a more heavy-duty, heavy-haul one. But either way, not really much I can do about it now. Now I need to slow down again. Just going to creep forwards. Cru cruise control. Ah, I only do it at two miles an hour. If I creep forward slowly enough. <clears throat> there. That actually worked, surprisingly. Just keep going, just keep going. I flop. That took my mind somewhere it shouldn't have gone then. Right, now we're going back up to this junction up here, which we used to turn around. We're now leaving Roswell, New Mexico. In fact, we're leaving New Mexico. No, we're not. We're going north, aren't we? Yeah, we're going north. I was thinking we was going to California for a second, then. How far have we got? 280 miles. That's not as bad as I thought it'd be. And how much fuel do we have? 600 miles. That should be okay. I do need to keep an eye on my fatigue. Uh, is it when it goes blue or when it goes white that I need to rest? If it's when it goes blue, I'm pretty close to dying, essentially. Don't do it. Good. That is a Mustang there. That is a very nice Mustang. Don't really see many Mustangs in the UK. They are very nice cars. Though. They sound beast. Like, seriously. actually managed to speed in this 
trucks, don't they? In fact, we're overtaking a Mustang. Yep, this is a fast truck. I'm not looking forward to work tomorrow, I gotta be fair. I can't go to bed soon because of that. But finish streaming, have a uh, shower. Have, well, have something to eat, have a shower. Maybe watch something on YouTube for a minute. And go to bed, I suppose. It's kind of annoying. And then tomorrow when I come home, same thing. I'm going to try and fit editing a video somewhere in my schedule for the next week. God knows how that's going to happen. I don't know, man. I miss being a kid. I really do. You don't appreciate how much time you have. Like, you sit there going, oh, I'm bored, I'm bored. But honestly, you do not appreciate how much time you have and how valuable that time is. Because now I spend 12 hours a day at work. And it's just like, oh, kill me. I only have like four hours a day to myself at most. It kind of sucks, but, you know, money is money. It's worth it. It's all worth it in the end. Like, I worked seven days last week straight. No time to myself, but now, come Friday, I'll have... I think £700 for a week's work. You just can't moan at that, really. But Friday can't come soon enough. <laughs> I keep, keep forgetting it's Saturday. I keep thinking it's still Black Friday. I, Black Friday was good. That was a good day yesterday. Even though I did blow £450 and lost £20 in poker games. <laughs> Yeah, just playing poker with my brother. I don't even know how to play. I think I did quite well considering I have no idea how to play. I, I won a few games. Then we had a nice game of cards against humanity. And I kick ass at brutality, so, you know. With that part of my nightbot thing that I set up earlier, there's a joke in there. <laughs> There's a command exclamation mark insult and it'll just throw an insult at you. I actually quite like that command, it's pretty funny. I don't know why, but that bus there reminds me of like China. Ah, uh, yay, we can bypass the nearby, nearby way station. Yeah, I get a message, you can shut the annoying alarm off yet. No. We do need to start slowing down. Uh, we gotta move over. Right here. Slowed in a little bit too much then. Ooh, accelerating up an incline. This is going to be fun. drive at the same, like with the same hand, well you can but not very easily, so it's one or the other, so I try to choose strays and things like that, to take a drink and all, but sometimes you just, when you need a drink, you need a drink man, what can I say, this is a very desolate area, I have a feeling it's going to be desert most of the way up New Mexico, I don't know, just intuition tells me it will be, ooh lovely lime green Peterbilt coming at us, I need to change that oh. oh, I'm getting tired. There's a rest stop here. That was irresponsible, but it makes it easier for me. And joystick RS. Oh, joy A. pitch black and we need to turn our lights on first thing, that's windscreen wipers ah, oh, engine first, dumbass right, we need to go right as sharp as we can, we're rolling forwards which is a little bit annoying 
I'm just going to use the roll, no, perhaps not, I was going to use the roll to swing us around really slowly, but if it doesn't fancy working. I can't really see. I'm just going to go for it. Someone crashed into me then. <laughs> More fool then. I'm a f How heavy is this truck? A lot, I'm guessing. And they're a little car. Thanks for letting me out, even though you're half a mile down the road. Uh, officer. Nice new officer uh, police car there. That's one thing they brought with a new update, I think it's what, 1.29 now? Is they have different uh, boroughs and police, which I think is really cool. But I am a fan of police and all that. I watch um, Polecat Bugs and all on the DOJ server. And I think it's quite cool how they implemented the different skins for different areas and different departments. That's definitely something cool that they did. no idea where I was going then. So that's, oh uh, yeah, joystick, right stick turns off the engine, I forgot about that. I was wondering why it was doing so I pressed it. Ah oh, well. Meep meep. God, I love that horn. I think the first one was the lane separate, so I don't know what the other one was. Stop sign, maybe? I assume so. It looks like it means stop sign. Stop behind the red line. Ooh, what's he carrying? Nice shiny chrome trailer. That's pretty cool. With beacons. Oh, that is cool. Right, pulling out in this is going to be fun. They're all turning. Oh, he's not. Both gonna let me out. Are you gonna? There's no one coming. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. God, it does struggle to get going. Mind fair play. Definitely struggling. Oh, and we're drifting. That's what you get for looking at your second monitor. West, keep left, east, keep right. We're going north. Oh well, whatever. I'll just follow the sat nav. It, I assume it knows what it's doing. Ah, uh, sugar plum fairy. That was kind of reckless, but it was either that or hit the guardrail. Oh, don't stop. Do not stop. Do not stop. We're slowing down. My foot's hard on the accelerator now. Do not stop. Good. Starting to pick up speed again now. That scared me a little bit. I thought I was going to start rolling backwards. That would have been funny. <laughs> Especially if there was a truck behind me. It's like, yeah, I'm not getting out of this without ramming. I gotta say, fair play. I am really enjoying this game so far. From what I've seen of it, and I'll admit, I've only got about three hours' experience on here. It's a pretty good game. It certainly sets itself apart from Euro Truck Simulator. It feels American. Like, it doesn't feel like they just retextured Euro Truck. It definitely feels American. Like the physics themselves feel different sometimes. So this is definitely a game worth having, fair play. As I said before, hats off to SCS. They really did well making this making American Truck Simulator feel American and they they, they did a good job at it. Like, it would have been easy for them to just slap a map together, build a few assets here and there, retexture a few things, and just go, right, here you go, here's a new game, that's 30 quid, please. But they actually spent a lot of time printing, all, printing all the roads and printing all the details. But SES, for a small development company, they do extremely well. Fair play. Like, there's a lot of games which are... Uh, Built by massive companies, which I'd never just consider, I'd never even consider buying. But this small company in Romania, I believe, and it's like the hats off to them. They make a very good game. It's actually, it's it's so simple yet it's addictive to play. I do really enjoy it. My back's starting to hurt now because I don't have a computer chair. I'm just sat on the side of my bed. It's really starting to ache now. Oh well, I'm probably going to call the stream when we get to wherever we are going, which is... Where are we going? F7. 
sex, and I'm not even going to do it, I don't care. Ratto to Warbird, which is obviously a rip-off of Walmart. We're taking £40,000 of frozen vegetables. <laughs> Fair enough. Swallow them apples. Oh, we nearly crashed head on into a highway patrol. That would not have been fun. I should start concentrating on the road a little bit, I think. Probably be a smart idea. Sixty. Just hit sixty. <laughs> Gone two hundred and ten miles in our new truck so far. Don't worry, I'll be saying twelve thousand soon. Let me guys know if you are enjoying this game, by the way, because I really am, but I do tend to try and play what you guys enjoy, and like all the games I've got, you can type uh, exclamation mark games in the chat to see what I've got, and I, I, enjoy, I enjoy playing all of them, so if you guys particularly want to see one of them, let me know, and I'm more than happy to oblige, because I enjoy playing them either way. Ooh, what was that then? Oh, it's just the reflection of our window. We, have to, we, we do have low flying jet over there, though. That's cool. I don't know if there's an airport nearby or what, but... It's still pretty cool. Don't hit the highway patrol. Nice smooth deceleration. Probably should have taken that a little bit wider, considering we are carrying a double. I really don't want to slam into something or kill someone or something. Before I get on this highway, I'm just going to stop here. I'm not sure how to put my hazard lights on. And I'm going to go... How did I do it before? No, it wasn't here, was it? It was in the pause menu. And company manager. Tr uh, no, not truck manager. Driver manager. I desperately need to get this new truck. We're like eight grand short. It's so irritating. Oh, he's made us $869. Not particularly brilliant, mate. But, yeah, every little helps. The more drives you have, though, like that quickly adds up. It really, really does. So, I don't mind them. They won't bring in much at the start anyway, but the sooner you get them, the sooner they'll start bringing in. The bigger makes the money, they'll start levelling up. Able to take long distance, you prick. Long distance <laughs> trips. What an a-hole. I'm trying not to swear, but honestly, it's driving me mad some of the AI traffic in this game. I know that was pretty much my fault, but, like, come on. You can't exactly say, oh, I didn't see him. I'm a massive 40,000 pound truck with two trailers covered in lights. Like, come on. I want to catch up to that police car so we can check out his library, but it's kind of difficult. You know, considering how much we weigh. And we haven't exactly got a powerful engine. I keep thinking that white streak that's going across the top of the windscreen is a shooting star. There is a jet up there though, that's pretty awesome. God, we are really struggling up this hill. Come on, truck. Doing 40 on a highway is not very good. Uh, I need to check. Fuel, we're fine. Uh, we've got uh, only 85 miles left. That's not that bad. I thought it was going to be more than that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying not to clear my throat as much as possible, but sometimes it's just completely unavoidable. And why does my truck like drifting so much? All I did was look out the window. No, I'm not touching anything, but it's drifting left.
rumble strip, hashtag cruise control. Probably going to pick up speed next, we're going downhill. I am going to have to try and find a different button for my mic mute and unmute controls because well, on most games it's fine but on here it does tend to do stupid stuff like open the map and beep at random things. So I don't know, I have to give that a little bit of thought, find a button which all games have in common that they don't use. Maybe I have to remap some stuff. you can actually flip a truck over. I've never tried it. Well, not in this game. In Euro Truck Simulator 2 I used to just screw around and try and flip every truck I got in. But that was different, that was just me being an ass. But I'm not sure if you can flip trucks in this game. I it does, it, in Euro Truck definitely it used to take a lot to flip a truck. Like you'd have to go really fast, turn and just clip a barrier or something and it'd send you over. experienced at parking. I'm gonna try and park it. Uh, yeah, it won't let me do that because... Why won't it let me do that? Okay, where should I place it? I guess we're gonna have to go for. Right, where... Where does it need to go? That's not very useful, that other... Oh, right, okay. That's certainly going to be tricky. Yeah, ooh, it has... Mm, I can't really tell how close I am there. Yeah, that's not at all going to work, is it? I can, though. Not. 
this may just work. Really? They accepted it a minute ago, didn't that really? Okay. One of it, there it was. And lowering the legs. Perfect. 290 miles, we got excellent. We got 11,000. I could have sworn it was more than that. And we're level 4, so, right, first things first, I want to upgrade long distance, I think. Do I? Deliver up to 1,000 miles. Yeah, I think I want that. Yeah, let's apply that. Right, now I want to go to my driver manager. He's still doing exactly the same. So let's go to truck manager. And as you know, I want to buy a new truck. So I shouldn't have clicked that there. Truck dealers. That's the only one we've unlocked so far. So visit selected dealer. Yes, I do. Ah, uh, it changed all my settings. Son of a gun. Right. Let's do this then. Chassis, I didn't change. Engine, ooh, we've unlocked more. Do I switch trucks? How much does that add? Mm, $3,000. I'm not sure we'll have enough for that. Shall I just keep this as like a crap truck, like a stock truck? Temptation is there because my loan payment is going to come out soon. And I really don't want to go negative. Yeah, do you know what? The only thing I'm going to upgrade is the engine. I'm going to paint it. And I'm going to put the heavy. Oh, got a different bumper now. Uh, nah, let's keep the stock one. I like the other one more, but this is just going to be like a a cheap and cheerful, like a spare truck, essentially. It's going to have uh, cargo lights, yeah, just whatever. I can't be asked to deal with all that. Uh, I keep forgetting how to move the camera. Right. Horns, yeah, why not? I should have spent more time really customising my other truck, my main truck. But then next when we get, when we have more money, I'm going to upgrade that like you wouldn't believe. Um, this is going to be GT, G. 12, uh, what should I call this? 20... Mm, GTG01, because I'm not creative. There, perfect. Confirm. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. I wanted to... What, did it do it? I'll just click confirm, see if it does it. I don't think so. Oh, well, I can't be... <laughs> should I? Yeah, let's do it. Uh... Why didn't it let me put that in? Yeah. G ah, I did it wrong, that's why. Duh. So I'm going to call this GTG. I'm pressing the wrong button because I'm a Muppet. Back delete. Zero one. Apply. And I'm going to have it on the other side as well. GTG zero one. Got to go. Oh one. <laughs> And cabin, meh. Right, that is it. Done. Confirm. Yep. And uh, purchase. Yep. Nope. And this is going to go in this depot here for you. Thank you for your purchase. Blah, blah, blah. We've already seen that. Leave. It's a bit of a shame that the worst driver got the best truck but meh 
Right, now I'm going to... Well, that's all done, isn't it? Let me just check my driver manager. Uh, garage manager, whatever. Driver man... <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted. She is... She should be on duty. It's alright to swap those two trucks over, so he's driving... Uh, I'll just leave it. Right. Now, let's go get a nice little snapshot of our truck, I think. Ooh, that was weird. I don't know why. We... Right. Let's go inside view. Now we get out of here. Nice little Walbert trailer there at Eddie's. Right, where can we go to get a nice snapshot of this truck? Nice little screensaver. Oh, really badly overestimated that then. Um, the hell was that? Did someone go into the back of me then? I oh, know my truck just shut randomly. I want to find somewhere nice to take a photograph. 21 foot 6, I don't think we have a problem with that. God, it's so nice having the acceleration now, i got to say. It's a bit cheeky, but what I'm going to do... Ooh, yeah, we've got to have the... I'm so glad I spotted that. The tank there, the Ratone... Uh, what, what, Hollywood sign thing, I suppose you'd call it? I know there is a photo mode, but I'm not sure how to access it. Right, how does that look now? is nice. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I like that. That's going to be my screenshot. Print screen that. Anyway, guys, that is going to call it today. I hope you guys had fun. But as much as I'd like to stick around, we've been going for an hour and a half, and I do have stuff to do. I have work tomorrow. I've got to get ready for that. Get my clothes ready. But make sure you come back next time, probably next Thursday for my next stream, and I will see you then. Peace out, guys.